Hey, Baxter here from Casino Guitars. Thanks for signing in and watching this first ever Fender Custom Shop online event. So we're presenting some of the Fender Custom Shop's top pieces. They've given us about 100 pieces to look at and we can present them to you. And we've created this whole digital format. Just follow along on the video. We're going through each piece, the specs, we have pictures. But if you want any of these, these are all available for order just for a short window. So let us know quickly and we can try to help you out. If you have any questions, any tweaks you want to make around, that's possible too. It's a pretty special event. We're excited to have come up with, put this all together with the Fender Custom Shop. Thanks for watching. Casino Guitars. Enjoy. The first four pieces are part of the 2021 Mid-Year Limited Edition Collection from the Fender Custom Shop. These are offered in four different colors, which we love all of them. The Aged Seafoam Green, the Aged Olympic White, the Aged Fiesta Red, the Faded Aged Three Color Sunburst. This is the limited edition 1962-63 Stratocaster and Journeyman Relic. This is a great way to get a bang for your buck Fender Custom Shop at a reasonable price, and we love the way these pickups sound. This is in the Journeyman Relic lacquer finished two-piece select alder body, tinted riffs on maple neck with a 63C back shape neck. It's a little bit bigger than your traditional C, and we love that. It gives you a little more chunk if you want it. It has the 7.25 to 9.5 inch vintage compound radius, another one of our favorites here at Casino. The 21 medium vintage frets and the hand wound 60 63 strap pickups are awesome. They have a great um, glassy tone in that middle pickup, a lot of warmth in the neck, and a little bit of scream in that bridge so you can get all those classic Fender sounds you're looking for. These all come with a deluxe hard shell case strap and certificate of authenticity and are priced at $42.50. Next is number five in an awesome artisan addition to the Custom Shop's mid-year collection. This is the limited edition Knotty Pine Telecaster Thin Line in NOS finish. So it has a roasted pine thin line body with a knotty pine top, brown shell top binding with rope purfling. That's always hard for me to say. I say poke purfling sometimes. Rope purfling. Roasted to a Bird's eye maple neck with a round lamb roseboard finger board and a 60s style oval C. A little bit smaller than the first few pieces. This has the 6105 frets, which is the favorite of the custom shop, and the hand wound loaded no caster pickups, fat 50s tele wiring with the three way switch, and the brown shell caballo tono pick guard. Also has the 5863 tele bridge with the RSD saddles. This piece is really cool, really unique. We love it. It's priced at $39.75, and of course, case strap certificate of authenticity as well number six is the limited edition dual mag 2 strat this is in relic finish and this guitar is a screamer this comes with the hand wound dual mag 2 pickups which are very hot very active and if you want to get some of those screaming srv tones you can crush it also has the half blender wiring and the tone saver bleed so you can have lots of options of your pickups blending together this is a relic lacquer finish Roasted alder body, tinted roasted riff sawn maple neck with a flat lamb rosewood fingerboard and a 60s style oval C neck with the 9.5 inch radius. Has the 6100 jumbo frets. And again, this guitar is a little bit hotter than your normal one. We love it. It's something different. It's the aged black over three color sunburst. Awesome piece, priced at $49.50. Number seven is also part of the mid year collection is the limited edition Troposphere HT hardtail strat in heavy relic. This piece is going to be awesome. If you're looking for a hardtail, I highly recommend it. They've specially designed these troposphere pickups to give you a lot more headroom is the idea. And so you have a lot of tonal possibilities there as well. This is a heavy relic lacquer finish in faded age two color sunburst, two piece select off center seam alder body, tinted riffs on maple neck with 57 soft V back with a 7.25 to nine and a half inch compound radius. We love this guitar. If you're looking for a hardtail, doesn't have the trim, so remember that. Beautiful piece, $4,600, of course, with the case and certificate of authenticity as well. Number eight is the limited edition Cunefi Tele Custom Relic. This is in faded aged chocolate three color sunburst. We love the chocolate three color sunburst. It's a unique color. We think it's fantastic. This one has the Cunefi pickups, which we like to say Q-knife because it's just easier to say. And that means the copple nickel, nickel and iron. Special combo. They've been trying to get this design since the 70s when it came out and they finally nailed it again. We love these pickups. 
has a great sound, awesome when you pair it with a single coil as well. I think it's great. So this one has the hand-wound Texas Special Bridge, and then it has the Cunifee, or Q-knife as we're gonna say from now on, humbucker in the neck. It's got the relic lacquer finish, double bound two-piece select alder body, tinted cortisone maple neck, and the 60 style oval C shape with a 9.5 inch radius. Love this guitar, has a great tone. It's very chunky. If you want that classic Keith Richards sound, you're kind of getting there with this one. Number nine ends the Fender 2021 mid-year collection. It is also a Q-Knife Blackguard Tele. This one's an aged butterscotch blonde, and this is a heavy relic as well. We love this one. Okay, so we said before the last one was Keith Richards. This one really is Keith Richards. Love this guitar, gorgeous piece. It has a little bit different build. It has a select ash body, two piece. Um, one piece tinted riffs on maple neck with an 1156 off center V neck shape. That gives you a little bit of an asymmetrical V carve in the back. We love that, 6105 frets. Your hand wound 5051 black guard tele bridge which has a lot of snap to it. And again, your wide range Q-knife humbucker neck pickup. Uh, it's got the dual stack HS tele wiring, so it's gonna give you an even tone between the two because that neck pickup is loud. So this kind of evens it all out, so it's perfect. Your one ply black thalonic pick guard, and there's a Bixby B5 on the bridge and tailpiece there. Awesome guitar, lots of character, lots of fun. Priced at 47.75, beautiful piece. Case, certificate of authenticity, love it. Number 10 and 11 start the run of limited edition only available to this special event pieces. And these are the Troposphere Hardtail Strats and Heavy Relic. They come in either Super Faded Aged Desert Sand or Super Faded Aged Shell Pink, my personal favorite. They're both priced at $4,500. And they have a two-piece off-center alder bodies, tinted rift saw and maple necks with a 57 soft V, another one of our favorite neck shapes. And of course, our favorite compound radius of seven and a quarter to nine and a half. These come with the Troposphere Strat pickups, again, which give you a lot more headroom and were specially designed by one of their top master builders at the custom shop. Has the vintage modified number two wiring, which again gives you tonal control over both your bridge and your neck pickups. And it has the five-way switch, the one-ply eggshell pickguard, hardtail strap bridge again with the patent pending saddles. Again, deluxe hard shell case, strap certificate of authenticity, great guitars if you're looking for a hardtail, love it. Number 12 and 13 are the Dual Mag 2 Strats and Heavy Relic. 12 is Super Faded Aged 3 Color Sunburst, priced at $49.50. 13 is the Aged Olympic White over 3 Color Sunburst, priced at $5,400. They both come in Heavy Relic, Lacquer Finish, Roasted Alder Body, Tinted Roasted Riff Saw and Maple Neck, with a Flat Lamb, Dark Selected Rosewood Fingerboard. 60 Style Oval C, which is a wonderful, comfortable, smaller size C shape, with a 9.5 inch radius. Comes with the Jumbo 6100 frets, and again, the hand-wound dual mag two pickups, which are very, very hot and very cool if you want a unique sort of screaming tone, very much in the Stevie Ray Vaughan category and beyond. I also think of a little Pink Floyd when I listen to these guys. We love these guitars. It comes with a half blender wiring as well and the Tone Saber Bleed, so you're not gonna lose your tone when you turn the volume down. Of course, comes the Certificate of Authenticity in your deluxe hard shell case. Again, number 12 is priced at 49.50, 13 is priced at 5,400. Number 14 and 15, okay, we have to say these are perhaps some of the shop favorites right now. These are the 60s Custom Thin Line Tele in Relic. We have number 14 is the Aged Gold Sparkle. Number 15 is the Seafoam Sparkle. These are awesome. Two-piece select alder thin line bodies with a top binding, black with rope purfling. Let me repeat that, rope purfling. We love that. You do not see that on guitars outside of the master build category usually. The bottom binding is black. It's a tinted riff saw and maple neck with a round lay-on maple fingerboard. 60 style oval C neck shape, which has been the hit of the show so far, and the 6105 frets. These have the hand-wound open loaded no caster neck and the hand-wound loaded no caster bridge pickups. Very vintage sounding and with that thin line, you're gonna get a little more accentuation in the highs and the lows. Fat 50s tally wiring with the three-way switch. They're both priced at $4,900. Love these guitars, have the 5863 Tele Bridge and RSD Saddles, vintage style tuning machines, the whole kit and caboodle, case, COA, love these guitars, number 14 and 15. Number 16 and 17 are the Q-Knife Tele Customs in Heavy Relic. These are an aged Olympic white over three color sunburst, or number 17 is aged black over three color sunburst. 
They're both priced at fifty-one fifty, and we have to say that black over three color sunburst is pretty awesome. We're normally the big white fans, which we love as usual, but the black really caught us off guard. These come in the heavy relic lacquer finish, double bound two piece select alder body, tinted quarter saw and maple neck for a little bit more stability in that neck carve, and the flat lamb rosewood fingerboard. 60 style oval C back shape and a 9.5 inch radius. And now it's got the hand wound Texas special on the bridge and then the wide range Q knife humbucker in the neck. This is a very cool tonal sound. And again, paired with a dual stack HS tele wiring to make sure the sound volume is in parity with each other. The three-way select switch, three-ply mint green pickguard, our favorite, and of course the 5863 Tele Bridge with the RSD saddles. Love these guitars, number 16 and 17, 5150 each. Number 18 is the Q-Knife Blackguard Tele. This is the Heavy Relic Lacquer Finish Two-Piece Select Ash Body. So different than our other ones before with the Ash Body, and also it has that strange Bigsby attached to it. This is number 18, it's in the faded aged wide two-color sunburst. We love the wide two-color sunburst. This is priced at $47.50. Has the one-piece tinted rift saw and maple neck with 1156 off-center V back shape. An amazing back shape. We highly recommend you try it if you're looking for something a little bit different with a little bit of chunk to it, but not too much. It's got the 6105 frets, hand-wound 5051 Blackguard Tele Bridge, and the wide range, again, Q-Knife, mispronounced, but we, we do it that way here, humbucker neck pickups. The dual stack HS Tele wiring, and all the other goodies that you expect from the custom shop. Now number 19 through 24, these are some awesome pieces and we love all of them. These are your classic 1956 Stratocasters and they come in a variety of colors. Number 19 is the aged black over two color sunburst. Number 20 is the dirty shell pink over two color sunburst. Number 21 is the aged India ivory over two color sunburst, a really great and unique color you don't see very often. Number 22 is the super faded aged sonic blue over two color sunburst. And number 23 is the super faded aged seafoam green over two color sunburst. And number 24, finally, is the super faded aged fiesta red over two color sunburst. These all come in the heavy relic lacquer finish, two piece select alder body, one piece dark tinted riff saw maple neck with the 1156 off center V back shape, 9.5 inch radius in the 6105 frets. These have the hand wound fat 50s pickups, which are one of the most popular selections from the Fender Custom Shop with the Fat 50 Strat wiring. Beautiful sounding guitars. They're all priced at $49.50. Numbers 25 through 29 are the 1960 Stratocasters and Journeyman Relic. These again come in a variety of colors and we'll start with number 25. That is the Faded Aged Three Color Sunburst. 26 is Aged Olympic White. 27 is Super Faded Aged Shell Pink a fan favorite of Baxter's. And number 28 is the Phaged Aged Surf Green. And number 29 is the Aged Lake Placid Blue. This is a gorgeous one as well. Now these are the Journeyman Relic Lacquer Finish, not too beat, not too worn for your wear. Two piece select alder body with a tinted quarter sawn neck and a flat lamb round dark rosewood fingerboard. 60 style oval C with a 9.5 inch radius and the jumbo 6100 frets. These have the hand wound Texas Special Strat pickups with the half blender strat wiring. These are priced at $4,100 and of course come with a Lux case and the certificate of authenticity. Again, numbers 25 through 29, 1960 Fender Stratocasters and Journeyman Relic. Number 30 and 31 are the 1964 Stratocasters in Relic Finish. We have a personal affinity towards these since we sold a true 1964 last year and we were very sad to see it go. I think it was called the Bootlegger's Flame. Well, I know it was. It was gorgeous. We miss it. But anyway, onto these two pieces. Number 30 is the Faded Aged Three Color Sunburst, which is very similar to what we had, and that is priced at $4,300. And number 31 is the Super Faded Aged Shell Pink, again, a Baxter fan favorite, priced at $4,300 as well. These are Relic Lacquer Finish, two piece select alder body, tinted roasted maple quarter saw neck with round lamb dark rosewood fingerboard. They have the 63C back shape, which is nice. It's a little bit chunkier than your typical oval, but it's not too big. It's not a massively large C either. 9.5 inch radius and the 6105 frets. These have the hand wound 64 strap pickups with the reverse wrap middle vintage modified number two wiring and tone saber bleed. Again, we love these pickups. Fantastic sounding guitars, gorgeous pieces, and it reminds us of what we once had. 
Number 32 is the 1968 Thin Line Telecaster in Journeyman Relic with Closet Classic Hardware. So this is in Fire Mist Gold Metallic and at $4,100. Now the Closet Classic Hardware means they have not aged the hardware for you. So you have pretty new looking hardware like it's been replaced at some point in history. And this is otherwise a pretty modestly distressed guitar. It's the Journeyman Relic, lacquer finished with Closet Classic Hardware, two piece select alder thin line body. It's gonna open up the tone a bit. Tinted maple riff sawn neck with a round lamb maple fretboard. 60s style oval C, very comfortable neck with the also a compound vintage radius at 7.25 to 9.5. 21 medium vintage frets, hand wound 67 tally pickups in the three way switch, modern tally wiring with the three way selector. This is a gorgeous guitar, very unique color and build combination. Number 32, priced at $4,100, the 1968 Thin Line Telecaster. Numbers 33 and 34 are the Roasted Pine Double Esquire Relic. Number 33 is the Aged White Blonde, and number 34 is the Wide Fade Two Color Sunburst. Again, we love the Wide Fade, and this comes in the Relic Lacquer Finish with the two-piece Roasted Pine Body. A little bit different tonality. Again, we love the uniqueness of this piece. One-piece tinted Roasted Riff Sawn Maple Neck, 1950 Black Card Back Shape. So it has a really unique neck carve, 7.25 to 9.5 inch vintage compound radius, the 21 medium vintage frets, and the hand wound 50 and 51 black guard tele pickups with the 51 mod no caster wiring. This is a really cool wiring where your tone's gonna start blending in some of those tones. Really unique. We had these on some of the master builds from Vincent Van Trite we had earlier this year, and we love them. This is paired with a black philonic pick guard, the Caballo Tono in particular, with the 1950 Vintage Esquire Bridge and Steel Barrel Saddles. Beautiful pieces, number 33 and 34, the Roasted Pine Double Esquire Relic, priced at $4,000 each. Numbers 35 and 36 are the 1959 Stratocasters and Journeyman Relic. 35 is the Faded Aged Chocolate Three Color Sunburst, and number 36 is the Aged Olympic White. They're both priced at $4,150. They have a Journeyman Relic lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, tinted riff sawn maple neck with a flat lamb dark rosewood fretboard, 60 style oval C shape, and 9.5 inch radius with the 6105 frets. This has the hand wound fat 50s pickups and has vintage modified wiring number two with the tone saber bleed. Gorgeous pieces. We love both of them. I can't really decide which I like more, so maybe we'll have to get both. Again, numbers 35 and 36. 1959 Stratocasters and Journeyman Relic. Numbers 37 and 38 are the 1959 Telecasters and Journeyman Relic. These are perhaps the most classic, down to the basics, Telecasters we've seen in the whole list, and we love them. We love number 37, that aged white blonde, classic color. We tend to always have a few of these on hand, and you can't go wrong with it. Number 38 is the aged Olympic white. Love that as well. But there's something about that match of being able to see that, that wood coming through there a little bit. So these are both priced a little bit differently, $39.50 for number 37, and number 38 is $3,800. So they're the Journeyman Relic Flash Coat Lacquer Finish, which lets the guitar breathe a little bit better, they say, and also it, um, it will definitely relic faster. So with the Journeyman Relic, we love a Flash Coat Finish because it's going to start to relic really quickly with a little bit of play and a little bit of wear and tear. Two-piece select ash body. Tinted Riftsaw and Maple Neck with Flat Lamb Rosewood Fingerboard, 60 style Oval C back shape with a 7 and a quarter inch radius, so vintage radius as well. It's got the 6105 frets, and the engine in this thing is the hand wound 58 Tele pickups with the fat 50s Tele wiring. Gorgeous, classic Telecaster pieces. We love what they do with the neck on them as well. Beautiful pieces, numbers 37 and 38. The 1959 Telecaster. Numbers 39, 40, and 41 are really unique offerings to the Custom Shop collection on this limited edition event. These are the 1957 Rosewood Neck Stratocasters in Deluxe Closet Classic. So the first is number 39, and that's in the Desert Sand. Number 40 is Aged Black, and number 41 is Aged Lake Placid Blue. These all have two-piece select alder bodies, Rosewood Neck, which is gorgeous, and these are gorgeous Rosewood Necks, and the Round Lamb Rosewood Fingerboard. 57 style V back shape with a nine and a half inch radius. It's got the 6105 frets and a hand wound Texas special pickups. That works really well with the rosewood neck. It has a very warm mid rangey tone. 
beautiful sounding guitar. Again, very SRB. If you like that type of style, this might be your winner. These come with a gold anodized pick guard, custom shop vintage synchronized tremolo, and all the other goodies you come to know and love with the Fender Custom Shop. They're priced at $42.50 a piece. Again, numbers 39, 40, and 41, the 1957 Rosewood Neck Stratocasters. Numbers 42 and 43 are the 1965 Stratocasters. These are both in relic lacquer finish, lightweight, two-piece select alder bodies, bound white, tinted 3A flame maple necks with round lamb dark rosewood fretboards. These have the 65 C-shaped necks with a 9.5 inch radius, 6105 frets, and the hand-wound fat 60s pickups. These have the vintage modified number 2 wiring as well and the tone saber bleed. Now, Number 42 is the Relic HC Foam Green. That's priced at $49.50. That's a classic. Love that surf green, California color. Number 43 is the Aged Magenta Sparkle. The opposite of classic. A little bit crazy, somewhat radical, but we have to admit here, Casino, we do love that color. That one is priced at $52.50. Again, number 42 and 43, the 1965 Fender Stratocasters. Numbers 44 and 45 give us something a little bit different. Here we have the P90 Mahogany Telecaster. So, we put a mahogany body and a P90 and a Fender Telecaster bridge pickup. And we have this thing right here. We love these things. We love when Fender cuts a little bit outside the box and creates something that is unique and different and gorgeous at the same time. So, number 44 is the aged Fire Mist Red top with the aged natural back and sides. Number 45 is the aged teal green metallic top with the aged natural back and sides. They're both priced at $41.50, and they have the Journeyman Relic lacquer finish, top bound, parchment, chambered mahogany body, tinted roasted 3A flame maple neck with round lamb dark rosewood fingerboard. This has a large C back neck shape and a 12 inch radius. Lots of great bending opportunities here, and you're not going to fret out. It's got the 6100 jumbo frets and a Fender Custom P90 neck pickup and a hand wound loaded no caster bridge pickup. Dual stack HS wiring again gives you that modern and clean and even sound throughout. Gorgeous necks, chunky, wonderful unique guitars, numbers 44 and 45, the P90 Mahogany Telecasters. Number 46 is the El Diablo Stratocaster in aged blue flower. This is a relic lacquer finish, two piece select alder body with a one piece tinted riff sawn neck. 1056V back shape with a 9.5 inch radius in the 6100 jumbo frets. This has the hand wound El Diablo pickups, which we love. It's a very unique sound. A little bit hotter than your classic 60s or 50s pickups with the vintage modified number two wiring, again giving you more tonal options. Number 46, Age Blue Flower, comes in priced at $4,300 and of course comes with the deluxe hard shell case, strap, and certificate of authenticity. Number 47 is the Poblano Stratocaster in Super Heavy Relic Aged White Blonde. This piece is priced at $47.50, has the lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, one-piece tinted quarter sawn maple neck, and a 1951 U-back shape. It's a big neck. This one's chunky. If you want a small one, do not look any further at this guitar. Nine and a half inch radius, the jumbo 6100 frets, and the hand-wound Poblano pickups with the vintage modified number two wiring as well. This piece is great, has a very unique sound again. We love it. This is a gorgeous, beautifully distressed guitar. The black picker we think really box it off. And she's coming at you right here at $47.50. Numbers 48 and 49 are the Tomatila Stratocasters number three. These came out a few years back at one of the NAMM shows and they were a huge hit. Great, unique sounding pickups as well. It's been a run of unique, different sounding than your typical vintage wiring schematic pickups. This is a relic flash coat lacquer finish and it's available in two different color combinations. Number 48 is the Desert Tan and it's a 55 Desert Tan to be particular. And number 49 is the Faded Aged Chocolate Two Color Sunburst. They're both priced at $4,400. With the flash coat lacquer finish, you are gonna get a quicker relicking and a little more breathable top coat. The two piece select alder body, one piece tinted to a bird's eye maple neck, which is gorgeous. The 1156 off-center V back shape with the compound radius that we all know and love here at Casino. Seven and a quarter to nine and a half inches. It's got the 6105 frets and the hand-wound Tomatillo pickups again. Blender wiring as well and the tone saver bleed. Tons of options tonally with this guitar. 
We love it. We think the relic work is gorgeous on these. That's it. 48 and 49. Tomatillo Stratocaster number three in relic. Number 50 is the Mischief Maker in Heavy Relic. Now, they've done the Mischief Maker for a few years now. They come up with a different incarnation every once in a while. This is the first I've seen with the Paisley undercoat, which I'm a Paisley junkie. So here we have an aged Olympic white over pink Paisley. This one is priced at $49.50. It's a Heavy Relic, lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, one-piece tinted bird's eye maple neck with the 1056 V back shape. Nine and a half inch radius and the 6100 jumbo frets. This has the hand round 69 strat neck and the 65 strat middle and then a Texas special strat bridge. We love the sort of staggered different pickup combinations. It gives you a great unique sound. There's another one. There's two more pieces in the whole run that have this different, different pickups, I believe, but I love when they do this. It's something Dale Wilson likes to do a lot in his builds. This piece is a gorgeous, unique, something out of the box that you're not going to see very often. Number 50 again, Mischief Maker and Aged Olympic White over Pink Paisley, $49.50. Numbers 51 and 52 are the 1955 Telecasters and Journeyman Relic. These are offered in Aged White Blonde or in Aged Silver Sparkle. The Journeyman Relic lacquer finish is gorgeous on these. It's not too heavy as far as the Relic goes, but the real stunner comes with a one-piece roasted 3A flame maple, maple neck. This, these are both gorgeous necks. We fell in love with it. We first fell in love when we saw that aged white blonde one because we normally see an aged white blonde with your beautiful maple neck with a light tint. This was something different, gorgeous. We loved it. It's got the 1954 U back shape, nine and a half inch radius, the 6105 frets, and the hand wound 5556 telly pickups. Great sounding pickups. Very vintage, very accurate. Has a very telly sound to it. If you're going for that Bakersfield thing at all, this guitar can handle it in spades. Fat 50s wiring, gorgeous instruments, both of them. Number 51 is the Age White Blonde, priced at $42.50. Number 52 is the Age Silver Sparkle, priced at $4,700. The sparkles are a little bit more because they only do the sparkles one day a week at the most, and it's Fridays, and it's a fun day to watch on Fender's Custom Shops Instagram when they do sparkle paint jobs. It's very unique. Very time consuming and very, very messy. Numbers 51 and 52, 55 Telecasters. Numbers 53, 54, and 55 are the 1958 Stratocasters and Journeyman Relic with Closet Classic Hardware. These all have the lacquer finish with Closet Classic Hardware, so the hardware has not been aged. The body certainly has with the two-piece select ash body. Now the ash body is only for numbers 53 and 54. When you go to 55, you have an aged Sherwood green with the alder body. 53 is aged white blonde, and 54 is chocolate three-color sunburst. Numbers 53 and 54 are priced at $4,500 each. Number 55 is priced at $4,250. These have the two-piece select ash bodies for 53 and 54, and the select alder body for 55. They both have or all three of them, I should say, have the 3A flame maple neck with a 58 soft V back shape, 9.5 inch radius with the 6105 frets. These guitars also have a unique pickup combination. Very cool, very different. You got a hand wound Tomatillo strat in the neck, a Tomatillo strat in the middle, and then a Poblano strat in the bridge. Vintage modified wiring too, again, so you can get separate tone controls over your bridge, and then you have your neck in your middle and your top tone control. It's got the tone saver bleed, Beautiful features in these guitars. Again, the necks are gorgeous flame. We love them. Numbers 53, 54, and 55, 1958 Stratocasters from the Fender Custom Shop. Numbers 56 and 57 are the 1959 Telecaster Customs Super Heavy Relic. Number 56 is the Faded Aged Chocolate Three Color Sunburst, priced at $49.50. Number 57 is the Aged Olympic White Over Three Color Sunburst, priced at $5,300. They both have, again, the super heavy relic, which is not normally offered except on master builds. Lacquer finished, double bound, two piece select alder bodies, dark tinted, two A flame quarter sawn maple necks with flat lamb dark rosewood fret boards. 59 large C back shape. We love those. We haven't seen that in this entire event so far. Nine and a half to 12 inch compound radius. So you can get some great bending up high. 21 6105 frets. It's got the original Blackguard Tele bridge pickup and the hand wound twisted Tele neck pickups. Awesome guitars, modern Tele wiring and grease bucket tone wiring as well. Beautiful three ply parchment pickguards, 58 to 63 Tele bridge with treaded 
steel saddles, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, wing string tree, deluxe hard showcase straps, certificate of authenticity, all the kit can boodle again, numbers 56 and 57, the 1959 Telecaster Customs in super heavy relic. Numbers 58 and 59, the 50s Pine Esquire in super heavy relic. Number 58 might be one of our other favorite pieces of the entire show. This is the aged no caster blonde Pine Esquire. That's priced at 4,600. Number 59 is the super faded aged wide fade two color sunburst, also priced at 4,600. These are super heavy relic, flash coat lacquer finish. We love the flash coat. Eastern white pine body. It's gonna give you a little bit different tonality and we love that too. Tinted one piece riff saw maple neck with a 1950 black guard telly back shape with a seven and a quarter to nine and a half inch vintage compound radius. It's got the 21 medium vintage frets. These guitars are equipped with the hand wound 5051 black guard telly bridge pickup with the full throttle Esquire wiring. That's gonna give you a really hot, really active tone options and just a great signal to that guitar. It's This is a little loud guitar. We love it. We've had some Dale Wilson pieces with this exact wiring and it blows us away every time we hear it. The one ply black philonic pick guard 1950 Esquire bridge with steel barrel saddles, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, disc string tree, deluxe hard shell case and COA of course. Again, number 58 and 59, 50s Pine Esquires, priced at $4,600, gorgeous pieces. Number 60 is the addition for you Jazz Master fans out there. We got the 1959 Jazz Master in Deluxe Closet Classic. So if you don't want to beat up guitar, we found one finally. Right here, this is in Faded Age Daphne Blue, priced at $4,200. This again is the Deluxe Classic Classic Lacquer Finish, two-piece select alder body, tinted one-piece Riff sawn maple neck with flat lamb dark rosewood fingerboard. This has the 62 Jazz Master C back shaped neck, nine and a half inch radius, and the 6105 frets. It also comes with its engine hooked up with the hand wound Jazz Master pickups with the black covers. What a cool touch to it. Vintage Jazz Master wiring with the knurled control knobs, gold anodized pickguard, again a feature I love. I have that on my Jazz Master and the vintage Jag Jazz tailpiece with the RSD J bridge, vintage style um, tuning machines, and the bone nut. Now let's go back to that bridge. That's a bridge mod that a lot of people would do anyway because we're not really a huge fan of the original Jazz Master bridges. They don't, they don't work that well all the time. This is a great addition, great upgrade, love it. Again, number 60, 1959 Jazz Master and Faded Age Daphne Blue. Number 61 is the P90 Thin Line Tele in Relic Finish. This is an aged natural. It's priced at $43.50. It has a lacquer finish, top bound, brown shell top bound, mahogany body with an F hole. We love the thin line aspect of this. One piece tinted roasted 3A flame maple neck with a 1056 V back carve, nine and a half inch radius. We love the neck on this. We love a 1056. It's got the 6105 frets and then the custom P90 pickups with the fat 50s tele wiring. Again, if you're looking for something different, look no further. This has that one ply brown shell Caballo Tono pickguard and the RSD tele sawed off bridge. Really cool bridge down there. It's um, a gorgeous piece, unique piece, very light. Again, number 61, the P90 thin line tele relic in aged natural. Number 62 and 63 are the 70s Tele Custom and Journeyman Relic. These are both offered in either Candy Tangerine or Black. They're both priced at $4,300 and are really cool different pieces. They're done in the Journeyman Relic finish with the two-piece select ash body, which is not something we were expecting in a 70s build. They have the tinted 2A flame quarter sawn maple neck with the round lamb rosewood fretboard. 60s style oval C, so it's nice and comfy, 9.5 inch radius and the 6105 frets. Again, this is um, their special pickup they come out with this year and they're loving it. The wide range Q-knife humbucker neck and the hand wound OBG, or as they call the original black guard telly, but I don't say OBG again because it makes me sound cool, pickup in the bridge. It's got the dual 250K, 500K volume and tone controls, which really keeps it even and makes this thing sound like an engine that it should. We love the three ply black philonic pick guard. No, wait, did I mention these have Bigsby's on them? So this guitar is awesome. Thank goodness they put an ash body in it because that's gonna alleviate the weight a little bit for you as well. So again, number 62 and 63, the 70s Tele Customs in Journeyman Relic. 
Number 64 is the 1962 Roasted Jaguar Relic in Wide Fade Two Color Sunburst. This is an awesome looking guitar. It is priced at $4,400 and it's a relic. Again, lacquer finished, two piece off center seam roasted alder body with a tinted 3A bird's eye roasted maple neck with a flat lamb rosewood fingerboard. The 62 Jaguar C back shape neck carve as well. Nine and a half inch radius with the 6150 frets, the medium jumbos. This has the vintage 62 Jaguar pickups and the four ply brown shell pick guard. We think this is a gorgeous piece. We love the relic on it, but that neck is amazing. Gorgeous neck. Again, number 64, 1962 Roasted Jaguar, wide fade, two color sunburst, relic, priced at $4,400. Number 65 is the 1969 Roasted Telly in aged black, priced at $4,300. This is in relic lacquer finish with a two piece off center seam roasted alder body. Tinted 3A bird's eye roasted maple neck with matched round lamb maple cap. 1969 U back shape with a seven and a quarter to nine and a half inch vintage compound radius. We've seen a lot of this show. We love it. 21 medium vintage frets, the hand wound 67 telly pickups with a fat 50s telly wiring. Gorgeous piece here. Again, number 65, 1969 roasted telly relic in aged black. Number 66 is the 1963 Jaguar in journeyman relic aged Aztec gold. This is a beautiful custom built limited edition priced at $42.50. It's got the journeyman relic lacquer finished two piece select alder body, tinted riff sawn maple neck with a round lamb rosewood fingerboard, 62 Jaguar C back shape, nine and a half inch radius, the 6105 frets, and of course the 62 Jaguar pickups. This has the three ply mint green pick card, which we love, and the vintage Jag Jazz tailpiece with bridge and mute. Vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, wing, string tree, and tall metal spacer. Deluxe hard shell case, strap, and certificate of authenticity. Of course, number 66, 1963 Jaguar, journeyman relic, in aged Aztec gold, priced at $42.50. Number 67 is something everyone needs in their arsenal. A 1964 base 6 journeyman relic in aged sea foam green. We think this is one of the cool guitars that Fender makes. Maybe not something everyone has to have, but you should want one of these. It's done in journeyman relic, lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, tinted quarter sawn maple neck with a round lamb rosewood fingerboard, 60 style oval C back shape with a seven and a quarter inch radius. This has the 21 medium vintage frets, 62 Jaguar pickups with the vintage base six wiring and controls, three ply brown shell pick guard, vintage Jag Jazz tailpiece and bridge, and vintage style tuning machines. Again, number 67, 1964 base six in aged sea foam green, priced at $47.50. Number 68 is the first of our bases in this collection. This is a 1959 precision base in journeyman relic with a faded aged three color sunburst priced at $3,900. This has the two piece select alder body, tinted course on maple neck with a flat lamb rosewood fingerboard, 60 style oval C back shape, seven and a quarter inch radius, and the 6150 frets, the medium jumbos hand wound 57 P-Base pickup, vintage wiring, gold anodized pick guard, vintage P-Base bridge, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, large disc street string, and deluxe hard shell case, strap, and certificate of authenticity. Again, number 68, the 1959 precision base, journeyman relic, in faded aged three color sunburst, priced at $3,900. If number 68 didn't have enough relic for you, number 69 certainly should. This is the 1951 Precision Base Super Heavy Relic in Age No Caster Blonde, priced at $52.50. We love this piece. We love the look at it. We can guarantee it does not weigh much at all. Heavy Relic, flash coat lacquer finish, two-piece select ash body, dark tinted one-piece quarter sawn maple neck, 51 P-Base U-back shape with a seven and a quarter inch radius. It's got the vintage medium frets and the vintage 5156 P base pickup. One ply black felonic pick guard, vintage two saddle P base bridge, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, large disc string tree, deluxe hard shell case strap, and certificate of authenticity. Again, number 69, 1951 precision base, super heavy relic, age no caster blonde, priced at 5250, gorgeous base. 
Number 70 is the 1964 Jazz Bass in Journeyman Relic Super Faded Aged Tahitian Coral. We love this color. This is priced at $39.50. This is a lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, tinted cortisol maple neck with round lamb rosewood fingerboard. 60s J Bass U back shape neck with a 7 and a quarter inch radius. It has the 6150 frets and then the hand wound vintage J Bass pickups with the three ply mint green pick guard. This is a gorgeous base, not too distressed, gorgeous color, very unique combination. Again, number 70, 1964 Jazz Bass Journeyman Relic, super faded aged Asian Coral, priced at $39.50. Number 71 is the 1957 Hardtail Stratocaster Journeyman Relic in India Ivory. A very unique color, we don't see this one very often either. This is gorgeous, two-piece select ash body, light guitar, tinted one-piece 2A flame maple neck. You've got a bit of flame there. It's quite attractive. A 57 style soft V back shape, nine and a half inch radius with the 6105 frets. This has the hand wound 57 strap pickups and the vintage modified number two wiring with the tone saber bleed. Again, this piece is number 71, 1957 hardtail Stratocaster journeyman relic priced at 4250. Number 72 continues along our hardtail line with a 1961 hardtail Stratocaster Journeyman Relic in faded aged Fiesta Red priced also at $42.50. This has the two-piece alder body, tinted 2A flame nick with a round lamb rosewood fingerboard, 60 style oval C back shape, 9.5 inch radius, 21 narrow tall 6105 frets, which we love, and then the hand wound 6063 strap pickups and the vintage modified number two wiring again from the tonal options there that we love. So again, this is number 72, 1961 Hardtail Stratocaster Journeyman Relic, faded aged Fiesta Red, priced at $42.50. Number 73 is our first of the outrageously colored pink paisleys that we love here at Casino. Number 73 is 1972 Thin Line Telecaster Heavy Relic with an aged pink paisley priced at $5,200. This is the Heavy Relic, lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, 2A flame quarter saw maple neck with a round lamb maple fingerboard, 60 style oval C back shape, 9.5 inch radius with a 6105 frets. This is equipped with two of the wide range Q-Knifer Kunafi pickups the 72 Tele thin line wiring, and the three-way switch. It has the age white perloid pickguard, hardtail strap bridge with the patent pending saddles, vintage style F-style tuning machines. Very cool in this piece. That's what we would expect. The bone nut, the wing string tree, and the nylon spacer. Deluxe hardshell case strap, and of course, COA or certificate of authenticity comes equipped with number 73, the 1972 thin line Telecaster heavy relic in aged pink paisley priced at $5,200. Number 74 is a unique piece and a great offering is the Knotty Pine Cunifee or Cunife Telecaster in Relic Age Natural priced at $4,700. This is a Relic lacquer finished Eastern White Pine body with Knotty Pine top. Brown shell top binding with rope purfling. Again, we love that purfling touch. And the brown shell back binding as well. Tinted to a flame cortisol maple neck with a round lamb maple fingerboard 60 style oval C back shape. 9.5 inch radius and the 6105 frets. Again, two of the um, wide range Q-Knife pickups, 72 Tele thin line wiring, three-way switch, three ply brown shell pick guard, hard tail strat bridge with patent pending saddles, and again, the vintage style F tuners. We love number 74, Naughty Pine Q-Knife Telecaster Relic in age natural priced at $4,700. Numbers 75 and 76 are the 50s Dual Mag 2 Stratocasters Journeyman Relic in either Faded Aged Ice Blue Metallic or Faded Aged Melon Candy Metallic. I have always been partial to Melon Candy for some reason ever since I saw Greg Cock play one that they had at Wildwood years ago with Abigail Ybarra pickups. I still kick myself for not getting it. Anyway, these guitars are both priced at $4,300. They have the Journeyman Relic finish, lacquer of course, two-piece select alder body, tinted 2A flame quarter song maple neck, with the 1056 V back shape, nine and a half inch radius, and the 6105 frets. These come equipped with the hand wound dual mag two strap pickups. Again, a hotter pickup, very cool sounding, works great with drive, with the half strat blender wiring and tone saver bleed. Very cool build here. Number 75 and 76, the 50s dual mag two stratocasters in Journeyman Relic in either faded aged ice blue metallic or faded aged melon candy metallic, priced at $4,300 each. 
Number 77 and 78 are the 1960 Dual Mag 2 Stratocasters in Super Heavy Relic. Now these are very similar to the pieces we just talked about before. A little different configurations, but they have the same engines underneath it. Number 77 is the Fitted Age 3 Color Sunburst, and number 78 is the Age Seafoam Green. We are in love with the looks of these two pieces. We want them both. We think one of you should take them as well, but we love them. Priced at $51.50 each, they're super heavy relic, lacquered finished, two-piece select alder body, tinted 2A flame cortisol maple neck with a flat lamb rosewood fingerboard, 60-style oval C back shape, 9.5 inch radius, 6105 frets, and again, the hand-wound dual mags, two strap pickups. This has the half blender wiring as well. Gorgeous pieces, the mint green pick guards. We love the relics. These are gorgeous. They look like master builds to us. Great looking pieces, number 77 and 78, the 1960 Dual Mag 2 Stratocasters and Super Heavy Relic, both priced at $51.50. We have now reached the end of our team built pieces. These are the last two and they might have saved some of the cooler, more unique ones for the end. Number 79 and 78 are the 1968 Stratocaster Relics. These are in either faded vintage white or aged black, both priced at $42.50. Now what makes them really unique though, I'm gonna jump right ahead to the pickups. They have one of those staggered different pickup combos that I just love. Dale Wilson does this a lot, and I've seen it with Vincent a little bit, but Dale's like, he's sort of mastered this. You have the hand-wound Texas Special Bridge, you have the hand-wound Fat 50s in the middle, and then you have the hand-wound 69 in your neck. Gorgeous tonal options here, beautiful sounding guitar. This reminds me of something you would have seen Jimi Hendrix or SRB or any of those guys play when they were mounting out their own guitars. The other guts of the guitar, two-piece select alder body, tinted riff saw and maple neck with round lamb maple fingerboard. It's got the 1969U back shape with a nine and a half inch radius, 21 of the narrow tall 6105 frets. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. It's got the vintage modified number two wiring again, so you can have that separate independent control over your tones. Cool, unique pieces. Number 79 and 80, 1968 Stratocaster Relics, vintage white and aged black, both priced at $42.50. Number 81 marks the beginning of the Masterbuilt guitars. This piece is a 1963 Stratocaster Journeyman Relic in aged Arctic White built by Yuri Shishikov. Now this is, he's one of the masters of the Masterbuilt. He does all the crazy pieces we see at the NAMM show with diamonds or built of an old antique car or a pinball machine or who knows what, or a Fabergé egg. That was one of my favorites. But let's get into the guts of this guitar. Gorgeous builder, outrageous attention to detail in that neck too. His necks are insane. So number 81 is, again, a journeyman relic, lacquer finished, two-piece select alder body, tinted quarter sawn maple neck with a round lamb rosewood fingerboard, 60-style oval C back shape with a 9.5-inch radius. He's got the 21 jumbo frets, the 6100s, and then the Josefina hand-round 60 strap pickups and the modern strap wiring. Now what's special about this, too, is the Josefinas are only offered in the master builds now. So if you want those, yet, you, you really have to jump up to this level. Again, Yuri makes unbelievably gorgeous pieces. It's neat to see him make a relic piece as well. He doesn't do it as often. This piece is number 81 again, 1963 Stratocaster in aged Arctic white, offered at $7,760. Number 82 marks the first of the pieces by Carlos Lopez, one of our favorite rising stars over at the Fender Custom Shop. He became a master builder just a few years ago, and he has been making some of the pieces we think are the most exciting and thrilling pieces out of the custom shop. Uh, he has got number 82 here, a 1963 Stratocaster Heavy Relic in aged Cadillac Green. This is priced at $8,300, but here's the guts of the guitar. Lacquer finish, of course, Heavy Relic, two-piece select roasted alder body, tinted quarter saw maple neck with round lamb rosewood fingerboard, 1056 V back shape with a 12-inch radius. He loves 12-inch radiuses, or radii, I should say. I apologize. My Latin was a little bit off there, 21 medium jumbo frets, the Josefina hand-wound fat 50s pickups, and of course the vintage modified number two wiring. This seems to be a very popular build from the team and the master builders. Again, we love Carlos's pieces. I first met him when he's an apprentice builder, and he makes gorgeous things. If you like the Todd Krause pieces, like this guy learned from the best, he's built a whole custom slew for Chicago Music Exchange with built-in, like I think, um, delay pedals and whatnot. Gorgeous piece here. Love Carlos's work. Number 82, Age Calic Green, 1963 Stratocaster and Heavy Relic, $8,300. Number 83 is the 1963 Stratocaster and Journeyman Relic in Aged Olympic White, built by Dennis Galuska, another 
titan of the master building world. He has put this guitar together in a journeyman relic lacquer finish with a two-piece select alder body, tinted quarter sawn maple neck, and a round lamb rosewood fingerboard. 60 style oval C back shape with a nine and a half inch radius. He's done the 21 medium jumbo frets with the Josefina handwound fat 50s as well. He's done a five way switch and vintage strat wiring. So a little bit different there. He's going old school for 60s. I love that as well. I have that on my guitars. Very cool sound. He makes gorgeous pieces. Number 83 again, 1963 Stratocaster, journeyman relic, aged Olympic white, priced at $6,725. Thanks, Dennis. Number 84 is another piece by Dennis. This is a 1960 Telecaster Journeyman Relic in black. This is a lacquer finished two-piece select alder body, quarter sawn maple neck with a flat lamb rosewood fingerboard, 60 style oval C back shape with um, nine and a half inch radius, 21 narrow tall 6105 frets, and the Josefina hand wound twisted telling neck, and an OBG, original blackguard, bridge pickup. Um, this is the modern tele, tele wiring. Love this piece, 5863 Tele Bridge, threaded steel saddles, vintage style tuning machines, bow nut, wing string tree, deluxe hard shell case, strap, COA, all the goodies. This is a pretty affordable master built piece right now at $6,550. So number 84, 1960 Tele Journeyman Relic by Dennis Galuska, black at $6,550. Now we've come to number 85, Leaves of Tears Telly. This is built again by Yuri Shishkov. And Yuri is the master of what we said earlier, diamonds and all things gorgeous. This is proof, I was gonna say in the pudding, so I just did it. It's proof in the pudding is right here. Number 85 is an outrageous piece of artistry. It's a one of a kind piece. Insane inlay work. He's a master of that. It's all done by hand. It's outrageously fun to watch him do this too. So this is an NOS, master built by Yuri. Hand stained purple sunburst. This is gold hardware, one piece select alder body with a 3A quilted maple top inlaid with cosinone silver artwork, 20 dop sides, and 18 diamonds. Cream bound, one piece 4A bird's eye maple neck with 60s oval C back shape. Abalone dot markers, 9.5 inch radius, 22 medium jumbo frets, that's 22 frets, Josefina hand wound, 63 tele pickups, master volume and tone controls. I don't even know if I need to talk about the pickups because I don't know if I could even play this guitar, it's so gorgeous. But great pickups that you put in there anyway. Um, beautiful piece. I cannot believe there's so many diamonds in this as well, or diopsides. I'm not really sure what that is, but we know it's fantastic if Yuri's put in his guitars. <laughs> Anyway, this piece is number 85. It is offered at $20,000, the Leaves of Tears Telly. Number 86 is built by the master Ron Thorne. He is the head of the, the build team over at the Fender Custom Shop, and he builds outrageously awesome guitars. He often builds them in these insane builds paired with a car or paired with something, out, paired with something else outrageous. But this, he's done something classic that we love. It's his 1974-1951 Nocaster. So this is the idea of what all the guys in the old days, Keith Richards is our primary, but did with their 51 Nocasters. After a few years in the 70s, they'd want to put that, that wide range pickup in there and get some different tones, something a little more rock and rolly, a little thicker, and they would route it out, plop that in there. So Ron's done that for us without destroying a 1951 Blackguard for us. So this has a heavy relic, lacquer finish, two-piece select ash body, very light guitar, one-piece tinted flat saw maple neck with a 1950 Blackguard back shape. Seven and a quarter to nine and a half inch radius. We love the compound. 21 medium vintage frets. Josefina hand wound 50 to 51 black guard bridge in the wide range. Cunifee, I don't want to say Q knife. That's what we always say. Humbucker neck pickups. Present day tele wiring with dual stack 250 500K volume pods. It's got the three way switch, three ply white pick guard, 5154 tele bridge, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, disc string tree, deluxe hard shell case strap, and of course COA. This is number 86, 1974, 1951 No Caster, heavy relic, built by the master Ron Thorne, and this is offered at $7,750. Number 87 is built by Todd Krauss. I own a Todd Krauss Tele. I can personally testify that he makes unbelievable Telecasters, but this is it. Number 87, 1956 Telecaster, heavy relic. Black over HLE gold. This is priced at $8,300. It's a heavy relic, lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body, 
one piece tinted quarter saw maple neck with slight V back shape, nine and a quarter inch radius, 21 narrow tall frets, hand wound twisted tally pickups, modern tally with grease bucket tone wiring, one ply parchment pickguard, no caster bridge with RSD saddles, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, deluxe hard shell case strap, COA of course. Again, Todd Krause's bill guitars, for Jeff Beck, Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, he is one of the masters of the master builders. Gorgeous pieces. I have fallen in love with mine. I have a shell pink one. I love it. Thank you, Todd. Again, number 87, 1956 Telecaster, heavy relic, built by Todd Krause, black over HLE gold, priced at $8,300. Number 88 is built by none other than the impeccable, unstoppable, and pretty amazing builder, Dale Wilson. We were one of Dale's, like, guitar lovers when we first opened our shop years back and have always loved Dale's works. We think he makes some of the best guitars on the planet, hands down. That's it. That's all I have to say about Dale. He knows we love him. Everyone that knows us knows that we love Dale Wilson pieces. Normally, a Dale Wilson piece is about a three and a half year waiting list, so the opportunity to possibly get this one is pretty outrageous. Um, so we have number 88 is a 1969 Stratocaster in Heavy Relic, again, built by Dale Wilson, in Aged Natural. This is priced at $8,700. It's a heavy relic, lacquer finish, two-piece select alder body with a 3A flame maple neck and a Ram Lamb 3A flame maple fingerboard. It's a 65C back shape with a 9.5 inch radius. It's got the 21 vintage style frets, Yosefina hand-wound 69 Strat pickups, and the Strat half blender wiring. Five-way switch, three-ply parchment pickguard, American vintage synchronized tremolo, Fender F tuning machines, and the Bone Nut Wing String Tree Deluxe Hard Shell Case Strap and Certificate of Authenticity. Number 88, a gorgeous piece. That neck is outrageous, and Dale makes necks that feel like butter. I cannot tell you how good his necks are. It, that's all I'll say again. 1969 Stratocaster, Heavy Relic, Dale Wilson, Age Natural, offered at $8,700. Number 89 is one of the more unique master build pieces we've seen offered. This piece is gorgeous. We've seen a video of it in action. This has been master built by Jason Smith. It's the F hole Strat NOS. This is in watermelon finish. So he was inspired by watermelons for this, believe it or not. And that's what the whole top, he found this special piece of wood. He thought it looked like the little watermelon seeds and the black dots. And when he did the back, he'd used black grain filler to give it sort of that con continuity of the watermelon as well. And he created this gorgeous, unique piece with his own custom black anodized pick guard. Everything's insanely custom on this. So let me just go through the specs here. Number 89 has the NOS urethane finish and black hardware, roasted ash hollow body with F hole and burl maple top, satin lacquer 2A roasted bird's eye maple neck with flat lamb African blackwood fingerboard, 60 style oval C back shape, nine and a quarter to 12 inch compound radius, 21 narrow tall, that's the 6105 frets, the Yosefina hand wound 1969 strap pickups, the five way switch, Strat blender wiring, black anodized pickguard as I talked, and the back plate is black anodized. I forgot that. American vintage synchronized tremolo, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, deluxe hard shell case, strap COA. The, again, number 89, F hole Strat, NOS, master built by Jason Smith, watermelon color, priced at $8,250. Number 90 is the 1958 Stratocaster Relic built by master builder Paul Waller. This is in one of our favorite colors and what a gorgeous version of shell pink that he's created. This guitar has a relic, lock lacquer finish, two piece select alder body, one piece roasted maple quarter saw neck with a chunky C back shape. So this is a big neck. Nine and a quarter inch radius, 21 of the jumbo 6100 frets, Yosefina hand wound troposphere pickups, which we're all excited about. That's the new pickup design by this strange fella here. Um, that are coming out on a few of the team builds, but this is the Josefina ones that are really special. This has the um, eight hole, three ply mint green pick guard, RSD strap tremolo, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, wing string tree, deluxe hard shell case, strap COA. Again, number 90, gorgeous shell pink, 1958 Stratocaster relic, built by the master himself, Paul Waller, priced at $7,400. Number 91 is a showstopper. This is the one that made some of the guys in the shops head spin, their boots fall off, and their hats explode. Number 91 is the custom thin line telly relic in color trans mocha built by none other than Ron Thorne, one of our favorite builders that just makes insane guitars. This is right after Casino Guitars aesthetic vibe. We love everything about it. 
This is a relic lacquer finished two piece select ash thin line body with F hole. 3A roasted bird's eye maple neck. That neck is insanely gorgeous with a flat lamb African blackwood fingerboard. 60 style oval C back shape, 9 and a quarter to 12 inch compound radius. That's pretty perfect. 21 narrow tall, 61 to 5 frets. The wide range Cunifi, or can we say Cunife one more time? Neck and a Yosefina hand round 51 no caster bridge pickup. Tele custom wiring, three way toggle switch, tooled leather pick guard. Let's just talk about that pick guard. That is a one of a kind, insane, gorgeous pick guard that will not be seen anywhere else except for here. It's got the Bixby B5 vibrato tailpiece. Who doesn't want a Bixby on their telly that looks like this? Not I. I, I need the Bixby. And the RSD J Bridge, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, wing string tree, deluxe hard shell case, strap, COA. We love this guitar. This is one of our favorites. Number 91, custom thin line telly relic, master built by Ron Thorne in Trans Mocha, priced at $11,000. Number 92 is the piece that we saw a while back on Carlos's Instagram, and we contacted Carlos directly on the telephone and whatnot and said, hey, we want this guitar. He's like, well, it's going to be all for this event. You can try to get it. I was like, we want it. So let's figure this out. So number 92 is a 1959 Stratocaster and Heavy Relic, master built by Carlos Lopez. This is only available to the U.S. because of the Brazilian Rosewood fretboard. So this is a gorgeous Heavy Relic, lacquer finished, two-piece select alder body, roasted 4A flame maple neck with flat lamb Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Chunky 60 style C back shape, 9 and a quarter inch radius, 6105 frets, the gold anodized pick guard that I believe he used when he was working on other guitars like for a while and then he finally just plopped this thing down here. So it's got legit wear on it. It's got the hand-wound Josefina 69 strap pickups, vintage modified wiring with no tonal middle pickup. I actually like that setup myself because I like to drop the tone down a little bit on the bridge and then kind of just have that little position to go. Then um, obviously vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, wing string tree, deluxe hard shell case, strap, COA. This is number 92, 1959 Stratocaster, heavy relic, relic <laughs> built by Carlos Lopez in aged sonic blue, priced at $8,800. This is a stunner. Number 94 is a really special piece. Now, this is a Tele Deluxe NOS, and it's built by Master Builder Apprentice Levi Perry. Now, the Master Builder Apprentices are ones that have been grooming under one of the primary Master Builders and will become the next Master Builder. So it's a great chance to get a pretty much Master Built piece at a much more reasonable price by amazing builders. Now, Vince Van Trite was a Master Builder for John Cruz. We have um, Carlos, who was with Todd, and like these guys... They come up and they're learning from the best builders in the world. It's pretty spectacular. So let me get into the details of this guitar. Number 94 is a Tele Deluxe NOS in black with gold flake, which is a great finish and great color. It's um, NOS lacquer finish with gold hardware, two-piece select alder body with contoured back and brown shell bonding on top. Transparent black 3A flame roasted maple neck with round lamb rosewood fingerboard. 60 style oval C back shape with 9.5 inch radius, 22 medium jumbo 6150 frets, Josephine hand mount Texas special telly neck, and then a Texas special strat middle and a twisted telly bridge pickups. So Josephine has got a plethora of awesome pickups on this guitar. It's got the five way switch, strat blender wiring, one ply brown shell pick guard, 67 telly bridge with compensated RSD saddles, deluxe tuning machines with ebony buttons, which we think are gorgeous. The Bone Nut Disc Screen Tree Deluxe Hard Shell Case Strap cer Certificate of Authenticity. I stumbled on that. Just COA. Done there. But again, number 94 is the Tele Deluxe NOS Master Builder Apprentice. Soon to be Master Builder. Fingers crossed here. Um, Levi Perry. Black with gold flake. This is offered at $56.50. So $5,650. Gorgeous piece. One of a kind. I think it's spectacular. And number 95 is another apprentice built by Nick Sacconi. Uh, I hope that's how he pronounces his name, because that's what we're going to do from now on. So anyway, number 95, this one blew us away. I, I'm i floored by it. I want this guitar myself. I will steal it if I can somehow, if the guys at the shop would let me have it. So number 95 is a 50s Tele Relic, again, Master Build Apprentice by Nick Sacconi. And this is a three-color sunburst sparkle finish, and it's priced at $5,900. This is a gorgeous piece, relic lacquer finish, gold hardware, two-piece select ash body, light guitar, one-piece roasted 4A flame maple neck. That neck is 
amazing looking, amazing, with a no caster U back shape. Big chunky neck, love that, and it is gorgeous. Nine and a half inch radius, narrow tall 6105 frets, twisted tele neck, and OBG original blackguard bridge pickups. Modern tele, tele wiring with tone saver bleed, three way switch, gold anodized pick guard, 63 tele bridge with Gatton saddles, vintage style tuning machines, bone nut, disc string tree, deluxe archo case strap, certificate of authenticity. Again, this one, we absolutely love it. Three color sunburst, sparkle finished. Thank you, Nick. I'm not saying your last name anymore in case I butcher it further. Priced at $5,900. Outstanding work, young man. And we have reached the finale. Number 96 is the HH Tele NOS Master Built by Kyle McMillan. This is the most shredder, unique looking piece we've seen of the entire run so far. This is trans blue with black burst. Very cool finish. So it's an NOS urethane finish, two piece select mahogany body. So it's going to give you that thicker, more sustained sound. Yeah, it's kind of a glass ball, right? Corner saw and maple neck with a flat lamb rosewood fingerboard. Mother of pearl dot markers. Modern C back shape with contoured heel. Love that. Nine and a half inch radius. 21 narrow tall 6105 frets. Seymour Duncan 59 humbucker in the neck. A JB trim bucker in the bridge. So the pickups are awesome in this thing. This can give you a lot of push, a lot of gain. Wonderful guitar. And then they add this. Reloaded volume and tone controls. That's a Gorgeous looking little guitar here. Um, Three-way switch, hard tail, subsonic bridge with polished steel saddles, Fender Deluxe staggered tuning machines, 1.6875 bone nut. Again, that's a 1.6875 bone nut with a deluxe hard shell case, strap, and COA. Again, number 96, HH Tele NOS Master Built by Kyle McMillan in trans blue and black burst, priced at $7,000.